Hello friends, welcome to AutoCAD video tutorials. I am Prabhu and you are watching this video from CyberCADSolutions.com. In this session, I am going to explain how to set units. To set units, we have a shortcut command called UN or you can type units completely and press enter. You will get a dialog box like this where you can set length units as well as angle units. In length units, there are different type of units. Decimal is for millimeter, centimeter, meter or kilometer. Architectural is for feet and inch. I didn't use any other units. So if you want to draw in millimeters, centimeters, meters, we have to set this to decimal. And the below one is precision. That is how many number of decimal places you want to get displayed. And this below one is the actual units of current drawing. This is especially used when you are going to copy entities from other drawing into current drawing. When you copy entities from other drawing and you are when you are going to paste the same entities in the current drawing, they will be scaled to this units, insertion units, and then they will be pasted. So this is very important to set. So when you are using decimal units for uh, lengths, you have to set this to either millimeter, centimeter or meters based on in which units you are uh, drawing this draw this drawing. And this is angle units. Uh, let us say in the length units, if you are going to use feet and inches, you have to select architectural units. And this is precision. Uh, what is the precision level you are going to use in your drawing that is half inch quarter inch one eighth or one sixteenth inch that is based on your requirement similarly when you set length units to architectural you must set insertion scale units to inches or feet but generally architectural units mm, inches only so you have to set insertion scale units to inches and angle units you can set to decimal degrees that is 1.5 degree, 2 degrees, 315 degrees, like that you can give degrees decimal units. That is 25 and half degrees can be used in decimal degrees. If you are going to use degrees, minutes, seconds, that is the second one, then you have to give 2 degree, 5 minute, 30 seconds, like that you have to specify those values. Generally, we used to use decimal degrees only. Again, there are other angle. Uh, units like gradients, radians and survey units. Make sure which units you are going to use and set it. So if we are going to use decimal, then set decimal as length units, decimal degrees as angle units. And here, say if I am going to uh, use meters, then I have to set this to meters. And uh, lighting, this is not important. Just simply say OK. So this is how we set units in AutoCAD. Similarly, uh, setting limits, how to set limits. We have a shortcut command for limits that is LIM and press enter. And here, if you observe at the command prompt, it is asking to specify lower left corner that is 0, 0. And I am pressing enter and it is asking upper right corner. Let us say if you are going to take the size of A4 sheet, you have to specify 297 by 210 that is the maximum coordinate which we are going to use so that is 297 by 210 is the a4 sheet size and press enter now our limits are lower left corner is 0 comma 0 and upper right corner is 297 by 210 so i would like to elaborate this a little i would like to draw a rectangle with lower left corner as the left corner and uh, upper right corner as the opposite corner for the rectangle. So REC is shortcut for rectangle. Type REC and 0, 0 is my um, lower left corner and 297 by 210 is my upper right corner of the rectangle. And take zoom command, zoom enter, z enter and take extends option here. Now you can see this rectangle. These are the limits of our current drawing. Now, if you set, you can, at present, you can draw within the uh, limits as well as 
outside the limits also. Say for example, if you take a circle command, you can draw the circle inside this limits area and even outside the limits area. But if you go to limits command again, and if you switch on the limits using this on option, click this on option. Now limits are in on. So now you can draw a circle within the limits, but if you try to draw a circle outside the limits, you can see it is saying outside the limits, you are going to take center point. So it is not possible. So if limits are set to on, we cannot draw outside the limits. So make sure that you use appropriate option in the limits that is on or off okay so to set it back to off type limits at the command prompt and take off option now you can draw outside the limits as well as in the inside the limits also so this is how setting units and limits in autocad hope you understand thanks for watching if you like this video i request you to share my view website cybercatsolutions.com to your friends and if you have any doubts you can email me my mail id is cybercatprabhu at the red gmail.com thanks for watching and welcome to the next session